Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna make something with all of these. And hopefully it's gonna be cute because it's gonna go in my house. Um, so say hey once you hop on. If you're watching replay, thank you for watching. I appreciate you coming back and watching my videos. Um, so we are gonna do something fun. Hopefully there's some eyeballs hopping on. Yay, there's my friends coming in my craft room. Come have a seat. Hey, Luann. Luann's like right on the money. She's waiting. <laughs> so, hey, everybody. Look at my hair. Look, I got my hair colored today and I don't have any more. No more roots. Yay. <laughs> so, hey, Ree. Hey, Kaylee. Hey, everybody. Y'all come on in. Have a seat. There's a seat for everybody. I saved y'all a seat. <laughs> Hey, Sherry and Kathy, we're going to create something cute. And so I'm going to put it in my house. So, um, you got to make it cute because it's going to go in my house, which, you know, I hope it turns out cute. <laughs> I don't want to mess up these boards. Hey, Laura and Pamela. Hey, everybody. I hope I have everything. I got enough stuff on this table to, for all of y'all to craft with probably. Hey, Sherry and Gwen. Hey, Lenora. I gotta find everything because I've got so much paint on this table and stuff and yeah. Ribbon, hey Missy and Debbie. Debbie, you're new Debbie, welcome, welcome. Hey Kelly and Barb, y'all welcome to my page. Thank y'all for coming in and being here. Um, I showed y'all earlier what we were gonna do. I got stacks. <laughs> I just got to decide which ones, if not all of them. Hey, Jenny, good evening, and Kathleen, and Tanya. Oh, my hair, it looks better. I don't look like a, I don't look like I got a skunk going on down the middle. So I had to go get, get it done. Hey, Lindy and Terry. This looks like a, like a miniature ping pong paddle, doesn't it? I'm just nerdy like that. I'm sorry. Louise. Hey, Louise and Laura and Jenny. Thank you for sprinkling. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so I have all these. And, okay, so I'm going to show y'all where I got them from first because I know a lot of them asked in the, um, it's going to be fall dawn. Um, and you may have seen this done, but I'm going to try to do this a little different. Hey, Bonnie um, and Pat. Okay, this one came from the good old Hoblob. Um, in the spring when it was $13.99 and I think I got it when it was maybe the 60% off when they started marking everything down. So you may have gotten some too then. I just like this cool shape and I thought it looks like a paddle, number one. But I just thought it was cool and I wanted to do something with it. Hey Debbie, hey Janet, Central Mississippi, that's where I'm from. Hey, Estella and Bonnie, you've used one for a paddle. That's what it looks like, like a teacher paddle back in the day when all the teachers had their paddles. Hey, Marsha and Shirley, Baden, Mississippi, Regina. I go through there all the time when I go back home. You're not far from me. You're about an hour and a little over an hour. Hey, Linda, two times in a row, I caught you live. Yay! Thank you, Janet. Hey, Sandy found you, I must have been too early. Maybe you were thinking it was a different time zone because I'm in Central, so it's 7.30 Central. Hey, Laurie, every Monday, every Thursday, except when there's a football game or something I have to tell y'all about. That's when I go live. Hey, Carol, and hey, Mary. So this one was Hobby Lobby. I liked it because it had a cool shape, and I thought, well, I'll figure out something to do with it because I like them, which my husband collects cutting boards. Um, he engraves on them with our lasers and he does those for gifts for people. You know, people need a wedding gift for somebody or, you know, he does a lot of that. He loves to do the engraving. Me, not so much, but uh, I like to cut with the lasers. But anyway, he, we have a whole stack of them in the house, but these are my, this is my stack. He wouldn't let me have any of his. Um, hey, Patty. Yay, Deborah. Okay. And then, oh, somebody, uh, Angela said, I got the same one. Yay. So you were like, oh, so I can do something with this. So here we go. We're going to do something with it. This one is from Ikea. Um, you may not have an Ikea, but I'm just going to show, we're going to do several different ones because 
um, in my coffee bar, I have several cutting boards and they're layered. They're standing up and I layer them and they're just for decor. They're not for cutting purposes. They are just there for, for pretty reasons. This one came from Target. Um, it is that Threshold brand. And I want to say it was like $5, maybe some around $5. It wasn't much, but they have these all the time at Target. So you can find these everywhere, guys. You can find them at, um, these were from Aldi. I got these last year and they come in little packs and they put them out again this year, but these are from Aldi. But you can find cutting boards, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. You can find them everywhere. Uh, Kroger, my Kroger has them. Walmart has them because they're a big thing right now. These are Hobby Lobby. These are in the fall section right now. Um, they are half off. So they're, these are $3.99. So they basically were $2 each okay so i like all the sizes all the colors but we're gonna do um hey sandy oh angela you got that stack of three two. Oh, good yay sure awesome i know i love the cutting boards but like in my house on my uh shelves on my coffee bar i have them i have a big one and then i have another one and i have them kind of layered on top of each other leaning against the wall and i just like the way that looks and so this is what I'm going to do with these, but we're going to make these into pumpkins. I'm going to do each one of them different, and I want to take those I have down and then put these up for fall. Um, hey, Robbie, welcome. Welcome back. Hey, Diane, glad you're here. Okay, this is acacia wood. Okay. Food safe. They say food safe. They all say either they are or they aren't because some of them are for looks. Um, so... I gotta decide which ones I'm gonna use because like I said, I got this whole stack. Um, I'm kinda liking, I don't know. I'm kinda liking this one, maybe, I don't know. I know I'm gonna use this, okay? And then I've got these baby ones and I really like the shape of that because that looks like a pumpkin, right? Um, so I may put this to the side. Um, so if I've got, okay, so this is what I'm going to have, like this, and then I'll have a round and then maybe a square or sh maybe I'll do, help me get that tag out of the way where y'all can see. So it's going to kind of be something like, <laughs> or maybe, I don't know. But I'll see how that's going to look, and I'm going to do them all different. Um, I know the long one doesn't look like a paddle, doesn't it? Um, but anyway, but we engrave them for people and put their names on them, or they use them as charcuterie boards, or they put them, you know, on their backsplash or whatever in their house. Hey, Kathy. Oh, Mary, I hope you're feeling better. Goodness. So anyway, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm kind of thinking this, these. I'm kind of thinking this. I like the first one you showed. Okay, so I've been thinking about this kind of all day and I consulted with my paint expert, Mandy, with uh, Western Grace Home Decor and Design. I had to consult with her about, okay, so if I put this on her, what do you think it's gonna look like? Cause she is all about the painting. She's all about the layers of the paint and getting this certain look that she likes. And she, hey Rhonda, Hey Lynn, and she um, she's all about layering the paint and getting all this rustic look and stuff, so I had to consult with her. <laughs> so she's probably on here, and I hope I do her proud because I was like, okay, what do I need to do? So I'm going to do something I've not ever done before, and she was like, I don't know what it's going to look like. I said, well, I'm going to try. So I've got, this is, um, I said, I don't want, I really don't want to cover this wood up on this one because I love the way it looks. I think it's really pretty, but... If it covers it up, it just does. But I like, I want to whitewash it, this one. And we're going to do all of them different. Um, hey, Wanda, thanks. And then, Diane, thank you. Okay, so this is, I just put a little Waverly in here. And I, I'm going to add a little more because I tried it on another piece of wood earlier, just a, just a few minutes ago, to see what it was going to look like. Because I've never watered down chalk paint. Never have I done that, and I'm just gonna see what it's gonna look like because I'm gonna try. So y'all know then what it's gonna look like. Yeah, I got my hairs done. I got my, as a friend of mine says, I got my wig split. <laughs> so 
what she used to always. I'm getting my wig split. Um, where did this one came from Hobby Lobby in the spring section when everything was they were reducing everything out. And I put my water in one of these because that way I can just kind of add what I want and then set it to the side. I don't have to pour out of my paint thing. I've already splattered it everywhere. I'm so glad y'all can come on here. And I do have a couple of these Aldi ones. I'm gonna just, we're just gonna pick somebody in a little bit and gift them to someone. Cause I, I bought a bunch last year and they're still sitting where I put them in my little stash. And I'm like, I gotta do something with them. So I'll give them away. Okay, all right. Yeah, Mandy's all about the layers. She is, she loves the layers. She likes to layer all the paint. And I'm a little bit more chicken than she is. <laughs> <laughs> but she's good at it. Hey, my sweet love friend, Mandy, I'm talking about you. <laughs> I said, I hope I do you proud because I don't know. I'm going to pick the cruddiest paintbrush in my, in my stash. <laughs> it's terrible. Is it not? <laughs> I hope y'all saw that. But you know what you do, right? indication of how this is all going to go, right? But, you know, she's all, she's good as new now. <laughs> okay, so here is my, this is Waverly White and this is water. So, like I said, I tried it on a different piece of wood earlier. I don't know what it's going to look like. I think I need to look at my baby wipes I bought, y'all. I'm all the time running out. So when I went to Walmart, I said, I'm gonna buy a big container of wipes because those little ones aren't cutting it anymore and I go through them too fast. You got a brush that does that? Well, Claire, put you some super glue down in there or either that. Super glue was just too hard to get to. <laughs> it's fixed now, Hannah, right? Okay, those, yeah, these brushes are the best because you can tell because it's well loved. I'm trying to scare to death I'm gonna spill this. All right, so here it is to start with. Nice, pretty wood. Y'all like, don't oh, cover up the wood. But I am. <laughs> and I was thinking I had forgotten something when I sat down. I hope I haven't. So I'm just going to kind of quickly put this on. And I'm going to show it to y'all. And then I'm probably going to wipe some right back off. I know I'm going to knock this down. So I'm going to take my wipe and wipe it. And I'm just as lost as y'all are because I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm just doing something. Linda, you can't find small boards. Look at Hobby Lobby. They're in the fall section. Um, and they are $3.99 and they're half off, so that makes it $2. You so much you can do with these little signs and these little things. Okay, prop my thing up. So I'm just, I've got it kind of streaked on here. And you know, this is gonna morph and change the whole time I'm doing this because like I said, I really don't have a whole plan. Um, I'm just, I know I, what I wanna do to them and that's pretty much it. I don't have like a whole vision. It'll be a while before you run out. Okay, so I'm just, and I'm kind of debating, I think I should leave the top brown because that's gonna be like my stem. So I'm, I don't think I'm gonna go all the way up so I'm just, it looks pretty whitewashed. Get that, it looks so much darker on the screen. The paint does. See, I don't know why, but in person it doesn't look that dark. So I'm just gonna kinda keep making it look streaky. And I'm gonna go to the back, we're gonna do this side. And then I guess I can pick which side looks best. <laughs> Cause you know, it might turn out like my punion did the other night. I don't know if y'all saw the live from the other night with my little pom-pom pumpkins and then I made the onion. It was a pumpkin, but it looked like an onion. You haven't been to Aldi? I love Aldi. Um, my hometown just got one. They There's just opened like yesterday. I was so happy for them. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're gonna love it. 
Everybody was in line with their quarters. I'm just wiping off a little bit. Cause like I said, I still want the wood to show through, but I don't necessarily want it solid white. I still want it to look woodsy. So I'm thinking that side. Now I'm kind of thinking that's the prettiest side. Um, and I'm barely even getting any water on here at all. So I'm just gonna still just keep um, putting some on, let it soak in a minute, and then wiping it back off. Hey, Barbara, you're okay? You love the punion candy, uh, Connie? He turned out cute. He's all hiding between his pumpkin friends and nobody will ever know. He has imposter syndrome. He's trying, he's trying to be a pumpkin in a world, uh, uh, trying to be a, he's an onion in a world of pumpkins and he's trying to be a pumpkin. All right, so I'm just gonna keep doing that and I think I'm gonna dry. I'm winging it, y'all, because I really don't even know. I'm just trying to make it look pretty. Uh oh, Beth's recovering. I hope she recovers good. Albany, Georgia, Beverly. Yes. Kathy, I had to buy that big bag. I'm not tired of buying those little packs and they only lasted me a little while and I was back buying more. So I bought the heavy duty thing at Walmart. Hey Barb, I know, all these is good. It, it really is. They have some neat stuff and um, their food and stuff is really good. Everything we've gotten from there is really good. And it's quick to run in and run out because it's small. The punya was epic, right Bree? Okay. So look, it's a real pretty color. It's not, you know, it's not overpowering white. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a little more. Oh, and, and my nose wants to run, of course. Get all sniffy. And then I'm gonna go right back over it off again. So it's making it look a real pretty whitewashed look. But I wanna stop there because I want that to be my stem. Yep, you get the you got the quarter and the so if you don't know what Aldi is, you take a quarter with you and the buggy you push the quarter in and it pops the buggy loose. They're chained together, and so when you put push your quarter in, it pops your chain loose from the buggy in front of it. And then you go through the store and you shop, and then you put your buggy back and it spits your quarter back out. So basically they don't have to have buggy people and that saves on money. So I usually give my buggy to someone else and you know, if I see somebody, I'll give it to them. So that's what I do. A lot of people do that, but um, you can buy your bags there or you, they give you little boxes and stuff that the food comes in that you can put your boxes in, take to the, to the car because that's how they save on money too. They don't have, um, bags but you can buy a bag or you can bring your um reusable bags back uh, every time and use them all right now let's see let's see what it needs now i think let's dry it a little bit it's very less expensive yes yes it is now they don't have, hey Shelly, they don't have everything, um, but they have, you know, the essentials. They have the produce, they have meat, they have, you know, ketchup, mustard, salad dressing, coffee, drinks, um, you know, frozen food, all of that. And it's kind of, it's their brand or either it's other brands, but they're particular about what they put in their store. Okay. So look how pretty this is. I just think it's gonna look pretty. My walls are kind of a, a grayish taupe color. It's called Mega Grage. It's a grayish color. Hey, Melissa, and it's gonna look, hey, Donna, and it's gonna look good leaning up against that. So still gotta dry some more, but I think I'm gonna take uh, my plate. I'm just uh, making this up as I go. 
Oh, and uh, so I just saw somebody saying prayers. Oh, thank you, Joyce. It came from Beware Sportswear. Um, their Halloween stuff were released yesterday, and oh my goodness, now I want Halloween ones. This is real brown. I just picked a brown because I don't have any gray out here. Um, I don't like that brush. Um, their Halloween shirts are cute. It's all too cute. Yeah, they have great snacks. Um, and then they have an aisle with like home decor, home, home stuff, I guess is a good word. And that's kind of where the, the cutting boards and stuff were. And they have different stuff all the time. All right. This is my watered down brown. I don't know what this is going to look like, but I'm just kind of making this up as I go. Because I don't really know. I'm just kind of putting this back on the edges a little maybe. We're just going to see. And then you're going to know if you want to do that to yours. So I'm just kind of blending that in a little. And I know you probably can't see, but it's, makes the, it's made the edges just a little darker. And I'm not really sure that I'm liking that or not, but I can always... I think I got another idea. I'm going to go right back over that because I'm not wild about it. But you don't know till you try. Okay. And there it's gone. <laughs> I changed my mind. I didn't like the way that looked. We're back white again. Okay. Self-service aisle. Oh! I don't think ours has one just yet. You ordered this shirt? Yeah, they got cute shirts. Red Thunder is better than Red Bull. Yeah, some of their stuff, their snacks and stuff is really good and it's better than the actual brand to me. Okay, so I've got that. So let's, and it's not quite all the way dry because I can still feel it's cool to the touch. The board, this was from Hobby Lobby. I got a whole bunch of different ones here. But this was in the spring section. Okay, so I'm just gonna sand in that edge a little. I think I like that better. I'm just making a mess on my little mat. Let me just get my, I'm just gonna keep the stream of baby wipes going. So it's kind of giving it a little bit of something. I've just, I've, I've been thinking about this idea for a while and I've seen other crafters do those cutting boards and I was like, oh, I want to do a whole bunch and stack them together, like a whole set. All right, so I'm going to leave him alone, except for I got to do this side. I'm gonna leave him alone for right now and let him dry and we're gonna go on to the next one because I'm excited about this next one because I know in my mind what I want to do so I'm gonna set this somewhere <laughs> I don't have anywhere to set anything down hey Debbie fall baseball oh I thought that said baseball trees and I'm like baseball trees and then it said tees and I was like okay all right, so I'm going to use this one. This is Ikea. If you have an Ikea near you, but you can get the, you can get them anywhere. Um, all right, and I think I'm going to take, ours is busting with food. Yes, their produce is awesome. Their produce, their milk and their eggs is really inexpensive. Um, it's really, hey, Mary. So I think I'm gonna start off by putting some wax on here just to give it a little dark undertone under there. Cause as Mandy says, it's all about layers. So I'm gonna try to make some layers on this one. Um, I've, I've been in the last few years, I've been kind of doing a neutral uh, decor for my, fall 
and I've got some leaves over here that I use in my decor and I was going to show you that I actually bought. They have them at Hobby Lobby and I got a bunch last year and used them, but they look more like real leaves. They're not the orange and the red, which I like that too. But you know, sometimes you just have to change things up a little bit. I hadn't had their German chocolate, but I, I mean, I, everything I've eaten from there is so good. I love Ikea, and I hadn't even done the back of this, but it's okay. Janet, it's just, it's random. I like their chips. Their chips are good. Um, I'm trying to think, but all their, they have all this cheese and stuff. It's really good. Um, oh, my earrings. Yep. Those are in my shop. I cut them on my laser. <laughs> Look, I didn't do the back. So you can see the difference, how much darker that wax made that and you can use um you know stain it with regular acrylic paint and water you don't have ikea yeah there's not but a handful of them in the united states and memphis just got theirs like five years ago i was thrilled or six years ago i was so thrilled because i had never been in one rosie i'm taking cutting boards that i've been collecting for a little while and we're making pumpkins because I'm going to stand them up in my home on my shelves over my coffee bar and make like a little vignette with them. And I'm just playing and trying to do all the things. <laughs> okay. Let me get my big, big plate out here for this because um, I'm, I'm going to probably go through some paint. So I want to do orange. But we're going to tone it down some, but I'm not going to do the bright orange. Like, that's really bright orange to me. So, I'm going to skip that one. Well, that's really bright orange, too. But we're going to do it because I'm going to tone it down. They're cookies. Everything's good. Hey, Jerry. Y'all know how to take this off, right? You just twist the opposite way that it turns. And sometimes they'll just come right off. Like, this is toasted, toasted terracotta. Anyway, so if you twist your top the opposite way, it'll start coming off, and then you can just take it off most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't work, and I'm surprised it worked because I was trying to show you. <laughs> yeah, Ikea is going to take, I tell everybody that go that I've taken or that has been with me, it's going to take a minimum of of two hours. You're just, you might as well just say two hours, you're gonna at least be in there two hours. Okay, so here is Spice Pumpkin, and this is Toasted Terracotta by Folk Art, because Hobby Lobby had their paints on sale the other day when I went. Okay, this is Burnt Orange, so I bought a bunch of different oranges. This is Burnt Orange, so you see the plastic? This one's probably not. You just have to twist it, and it's going to start. See, it starts coming off. Don't be using your teeth and trying to do this, because, I, y'all, I know y'all have done it, because I do it, too. <laughs> but that's how I get them off. So, I've got all these oranges I'm trying to get out here. Is that all of them? I think so. That's Pumpkin by Waverly, but I don't know. It's bright. Let's just go ahead and throw this out here, too. Have I already got that one, or is that the same one? No, that's not the same one. This is Pumpkin by Anita. So, I've got all these oranges out here. And this may not even do. Well, we're going to see. I have a vision, but that doesn't mean it's going to work. I need to go to Michael's, too. I need some more of their copper paint. It's busy in Ikea, yes, but I love Ikea. Um, all right, so this is, so I'm basically just going to, I don't know. <laughs> I'm making this up as I go, guys. I promise I just, I don't even have any kind of a right or wrong. See how pretty this is? Look at that orange. It looks kind of red on the screen, but it's orange. Uh oh, almost, almost missed me. You were making jelly. Yum. All right, so I'm gonna, if you can't, hope y'all can see. So I'm gonna, I've got all my colors. That was the toasted terracotta. It's really pretty. 
And then I'm gonna grab some of this brighter, I don't, this is spiced pumpkin or something. <laughs> I think it's spiced pumpkin. It is really orange compared to that color. And I gotta do the edges too. So I'm just basically kind of streaking it on here. So see, I just, I'm just randomly brushing it. I'm not trying to cover it. Um, and I'm not even washing out my brush. So I got, I'm going to do the edge and we're going to see what we're going to get. Cause I'm just, like I said, I don't have any plan. I just know that how I wanted to do this one. But I do like this color. We got to color up, cover up Ikea down there on the bottom. It's kind of burned in there. But look at all the colors. And that orange is going to dry a little bit darker. It always dries a little darker. I like Trader Joe's too. There's one of those in Germantown by the Dollar Tree I go to. And um, so I have gone in there a few times. They have cool stuff. Different stuff. All right, so there it is. That does look red on camera, but I promise y'all it's not red. Hey, Teresa. Cauliflower pizza, Diane. Um, I need to try that. Y'all have lost 20 pounds. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, this is... Got so much paint out here. This is Burnt Orange by Deco Art. What color this is. And for some reason... Orange looks weird on the camera. It's not as probably bright as what y'all are seeing, but it's it's looking that way on the camera, but it's not that way in real life. I don't know why. Some colors just look different. See, I'm just kind of going, um, I'm not even cleaning off my brush because I kind of want all of these colors to Kind of go together a little and we're going to get all these and i'm going back to my toasted terracotta i just want them all to kind of blend in and go together so you get all these different hues of orange that's what my vision was hey teresa doesn't look as red as what y'all see though I, it's weird I'm going to kind of start doing my little swoop swoops like a pumpkin almost. Make sure to do the edges. Let's go in this orange and let's get a little of that orange. It looks pretty though, all these different shades. Okay, so I got a, I ordered, uh, I gotta tell y'all what happened. I got a package from Joann's today. And Mandy has the cutest little white jack-o'-lanterns that she got from, and they're in her background on her lives, if you'll watch her live. Um, she got them from Joann's and she sent me this cute picture and said, look at my cute pumpkins. And I was like, oh my gosh, those are cute. Where'd you get them? And she said, um, uh, I got them at Joann's. So, of course, I hopped right on over there. They were on sale, $2.99 shipping, all the things. And I bought me some. Bought me two. And then I bought me a double stack one with a, a little hat on. And I couldn't wait for them to come. And I went and got my hair done. Got my notification. They had been delivered. I was so excited to get my pumpkins. You know, I was going to put them back here. They're going to look so cute. Well, I picked it up off the porch. And it rattled. And I was like, oh, that's not a good sign. It's not a good sign when your package of breakable stuff rattles. And I thought, okay, it'll be all right. Maybe it's just one of them that's broken, not all of them. Oh, no. Mm -mm. All of them just shattered. They put them in a box. Now, these things are this big, okay? There's two of them that big, and then one of them was this big around, and but it was tall. And they were in a box, like two and a half by two and a half box. And there's three pumpkins in there. 
and it had one piece of brown paper that probably was this long and this big on top. And they're just rolling around in the box and they are just, one of them is just completely demolished. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're kidding me, right? So I immediately got on my order from my email and I called them and I was on hold. And then um, lady comes on and I tell her, hey, look, I got my package. My pumpkins are shattered. You know, they wasn't packed very well, yada, yada, yada. And um, she's like, okay. She goes, well, I'll refund you back to your card. And, and I was like, I don't need to send you a picture or anything. And she was like, no. She said, we'll take your word for it that they're, you know, messed, messed up. And I'm like, okay. So they refunded me and I don't have any pumpkins. But like the whole, the whole side of the face on two of, on the two short little ones, the whole face was like shattered on the pumpkin, but the back side is still intact, but they lit up. So that was the whole point. They have a little light in there and they light up and they're really cute. You have to go see Mandy's because then you'll want some too. But the, the other side that's just plain, that whole side's intact on both of them. So I thought, I'm just going to paint them, probably some of these yummy colors and turn them to the back. You know, they got that bad spot like my, my Funyun did. <laughs> my Funyun, my Punyun. Hey, Holly. Chris, I don't know if they're all gone or not, but they're super, super cute. And they light up. They have like a little tea light inside and they light up and they're super cute. And, you know, mine are toast. They toss them around, yes. But I will say they weren't, they weren't even wrapped or packed. I mean, they're in this huge box and they're just like rolling all around in there. Well, yeah. And they're like ceramic plaster of Paris stuff that you paint. But I was going to leave them white like they were because they're super cute. Okay, here's all my layers. And it trust me, it doesn't look as red as it does to y'all. Fix this one spot right here I'm not happy with. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry good. You've seen Mandy's print? Yes, that's what I ordered. I wanted to be cute and have pumpkins back here lit up and stuff and or, you know, something. And they were just... Yeah. The one, the double stack one, that was two pumpkins and then it had like a little witch's hat. It was so cute. It was all white. It was like completely just, the hat was left and it was chipped off the end and it was nothing hard left of that one. It was bad. So anyway, so at least they, they refunded me. They didn't even add, didn't say, okay, we need proof, blah, blah, blah. All the things. They, no, mm -mm. I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm going to sand it. So I'm going to go on to the next one. Y'all look. See, I promise y'all it doesn't look red. In real life, it's not red. But we can, I'm going to probably tone it down a little bit. Ace Ventura. It was actually FedEx. <laughs> but uh, it, it wasn't their fault because it didn't, it had one piece of brown paper, y'all, that was wadded up that was probably this big. That was it. For those three pumpkins that are this big. No. No. Um, okay, so let's, I'm going to scroll. Was it going to let me scroll? There it goes. I'm going to scroll, scroll, scroll. I'm going to scroll way on back here. Sue Hower. I am going to send you this cute little round. Um, Sue, let me write it down because y'all know I will forget. Sue Hower, message me your, um, your address, um, and I will send you that cute cutting board. Okay. Now I gotta get it back where it was. Come on, there we go. Hey, Marie. Okay, so Sue Howard, H-O-W-E-R. Got you written down. What's Mandy's page? Uh, Western Grace Home Decor. And her and her husband, they craft, and he's not all the he's not on there all the time, but um, they're super sweet and hilarious, and um, they're just funny. You just gotta watch them. I know, I love the pumpkins. I think it's gonna look cool. And we're gonna all finish, you know, embellish them up and everything. Okay, so here's this one. 
So my thought is, do I do this side or do I do that side? Because this side has that little line around it. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I need to do this side. What am I doing? So it's going to be, here's what we have so far. And then so I'm trying to decide, do I want to do, and then it's going to be this. So I'm trying to, I think, I think I'm going to turn it around and do the back of it. Okay. So see, it's going to look so pretty. Y'all want to get done. Now, what did I have planned for this? I can't remember. Oh, yes, I do know. Yes, I do remember. Okay. So let me get back to my, um, winging it y'all so I'm thinking hold on I'm thinking <laughs> okay yes I'm gonna do this oh yay Sue so just message my page and um oh and by the way Dollar Tree has these too I found this one at Dollar Tree so you can have those at Dollar Tree yes I've lost 20 pounds so far so excited. Okay, y'all seen me use this before. It's tissue paper from Dollar Tree. And I'm thinking, I might as well go ahead and tear that off. I mean, at Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby. Sorry, I told you wrong. This is from Hobby Lobby, and I've used it one other time. And I think that's what I'm going to do to this one. King's Gold, yes. King's Gold. I may brush some King's Gold on that orange one. Oh, thank you, Sue. I know. I love different cutting boards, too, and you can find them everywhere. The grocery store. You can find them everywhere. Okay. So, you can take tissue paper, and you can... And it really... Now, it doesn't really matter if that square's on there, because I'm not going to paint it. Cream. So, yeah, I got a... I got a... I, I know what I'm going to do the little one. The round one, I know. Because I, I was telling Mandy today, and y'all seen me do it before, Mod Podge. And I scared y'all to death last year because I painted a pumpkin black. Um, colors on something, last pumpkin. So I'm going to paint my Mod Podge on. Kind of thick because I got my fan on above me and it dries so fast. And I do have a big bottle of Mod Podge. I just like to pour it in this little bottle because it's so easy and it doesn't take up a lot of room and I'm not going to knock it over and spill it everywhere. So I like to just refill that little bottle and there's a little tip for you <laughs> if that'll help you too because I'm always scared I'm going to knock the whole jar of Mod Podge over. And then I can just close it and it's not sitting here open while I'm crafting. All right, so here is my Mod Podge. You can totally do the iron technique if you wish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this torn top because I don't want it to look exactly straight at the top. But I am gonna try to line up my lines and make my lines look straight. And if it's wrinkly, that makes it even better because it's a pumpkin, right? They have wrinkles. Do a turquoise one. Yes, that would be pretty. That's gonna go in my house. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna kinda get this on good. So I can still see the wood through there, which is fine because it's not glaring buffalo check. You just finished your Jenga scarecrow. I know mine needs a friend, any cute? I gotta make another one. Which I have my other one over here that's not painted. The one I had prepped in advance and didn't glue together. I glued it together and that's as far as I got. Okay, Tina, you're fine. I'm sorry. So I'm just sanding down. And that's going to tear that tissue paper right off in a perfect straight edge. So just kind of go down like this. It doesn't take much because it's so thin anyway. It just tears it right off. And if it tears a little more, I'm okay with that because I don't want this to be just perfect. Okay. I'm going to put that down there. The 
But then, I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna dry it a little. Nope, I did paint white first, because I kind of wanted it a little muted. But if you wanted it to be super white, you could put white down and then put your tissue paper and it would just be really pretty white and black. I know, Penny, the scarecrows are fun. I, Judy, people are making them with the little skirts in the group. Have you seen them? When they put little skirts around them and they have the braids and I'm like, oh my goodness. You feel, you refill your suit? I do too. Because I promise y'all, I'll knock that whole container of Mod Podge over and be like. So, it's just easy for me to do this, flip the top shut, and I'm good. I know my shirt, it's kind of getting a little big, right? How many do you recommend we get? How many? I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all, that makes me hot. Um, Carol, it is a plan called Optavia. It's O-P-T-A-V-I-A. -A. And, um, it's a health, it's not just losing weight, you're getting healthy at the same time. But you eat their foods five times a day, and then you cook a healthy meal at night. So you're eating like every two to three hours. Um, so it's not, um... You know, you're not hungry, really, because, I, I, like I said, I eat something in two to three hours. I'm like, I'll go eat my little brownie here in just a minute. And I love their brownie. But it's little packets. You put water with them, whatever the food it is. Like, I eat, uh, some of them are mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, um, chicken soup, uh, penny pasta with red sauce. And it's in a little packet, and you add water, and you eat it. And then they're good. Okay, so I did that one. I kind of sanded it off on the edges and I need to sand some more. So I'm going to kind of get a little rough with it. So I want my edges to look. So it's taking some of the paper. And I'm actually going to, let's just do the whole thing. pumpkin out of a 3D reform. No, I have not. And I rarely ever see those things. The 3D reforms, I hardly ever see them. I have seen them a couple of times and it's like, uh, I really don't know what I'm going to do with that. So do I need it? I know this, they're so cute in the dresses. Okay. So this one, I just, I just ran it over there and I did sand off some of the tissue paper, but I don't want it, you know, I don't want it so, um, in your face buffalo but you can totally paint it white and then put your paper over it and it would be blaringly buffalo but i just want a subtle buffalo <laughs> so um but absolutely you could paint it white uh as a matter of fact let's see where's that tissue paper oh here's the scraps so if you painted it white so here's the paper so it's kind of transparent so if you put your painted it white behind it it would be real bright white and buffalo check. And so, you know, this is gonna make it, tone it down just a little, cause I just want it subtle. Oh, thank you, Jill. Um, Linda, it's good with people who di with diabetes because your sugar's not going up and down and it's not got a lot of sugar in it. I drink maybe a diet drink every once in a while. Um, but you can look it up, and I know Alicia Edmonds, I don't know if she's on, but she's a coach. She's not my coach, but she, I know she's on here, she's lost over 100 pounds, and she may can tell you a little more than I can about it, um, because I, um, I don't, I just do it, so I, I don't know how, I haven't been through the coaching and all that stuff. Oh, the cauliflower rice. Okay, Lori, I'll have to put it, I can put it in the group. How about that? It's really good. Uh, it's my favorite. Okay, so here's the baby black one. I mean, the baby one, I'm going to paint black. The baby black one. It's going to be black. But I got to take my cord off. This is Hobby Lobby. They're half off, so it'll be $2. So it's not going to, hey, Lynn, thank you, Susie. So it's not going to, it's not super expensive. And how cute would this look if you had 
if you had a bunch of little ones all together, like lined all up, oh my goodness, how cute would this be? Susan, I think it's okay with that because this is like totally healthy. I've saved my leather. Hey, Colin, there's my son. I know, my shirt, yeah. I'm excited. Now, this I'm probably going to make a mess. Where's my paint? <laughs> cute set. Barb, as always, you're so sweet. Well, sometimes I make a, an onion that's supposed to be a pumpkin and, you know, you just have to keep going and go with it, right? Y'all hear my paint? <laughs> it's making terrible noises. <laughs> this is Waverly ink. And, I've, and I, I can't do anything without getting stuff on me. Just ain't gonna happen. Which one was from Aldi? Uh, this, this one, that was Aldi. You've been cutting grass and prepping pizza. I don't even want to hear about the pizza. He's making, he's into this thing of making homemade pizzas now. And I'm like, uh. So I am gonna, and he sends me pictures of these homemade pizzas and I'm like, really? <laughs> he made a jalapeno popper one the other night, sent me a picture and I was like, really? Cause he knows pizza is like my favorite. Mexican and pizza and spaghetti. I'm, I could live off of that. It becomes a pumpkin. Yes, it becomes a punion. <laughs> okay, so let me get my paintbrush. That one's not gonna work. I took my paintbrushes out of my, you know, the pot that I made with all the colors. It's over there, but I got other stuff in it. But <laughs> I switched to this. <laughs> Found this at Marshall's for, is there a sticker on the bottom? Yep, yeah, it was like $11. And it spins. And so I set it over here and all my paintbrushes are on it. And so it's wonderful. All right. So let me, I know y'all are thinking, oh my gosh, here she goes with the black. But last year I painted a pumpkin black. One of my old ones in my decor that was this faded, this ugly color. And I painted it black. And y'all remember I dry brushed it with white. And y'all were like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So that's what's going to happen to this one. So it's not going to stay all black. Yeah, Lisa, I, there's recipes for that. Um, they, they tell you about these groups on Facebook that go along with the diet. And there's recipes and stuff in there that people share. And um, there, it's like a lean and three greens is what you have to have at your meal. And so far, the recipes we've tried have been really good. So I am going to paint this one all the way up, but I'm not going to dry brush at the top. Show, oh, okay, I'll show it in a second. My, it's just one of them spinner things that holds like pencils and stuff, but I got it at Marshall's. It's a, it was on clearance and I was like, oh, I can redo that. Well, I've yet to redo it. The metallic, see, I don't have a metallic taste. I, my stuff doesn't taste metallic. I don't know. What, was it everything you ate or was it just um, a certain thing or what? Because I don't, I don't have a metallic taste. My husband's never mentioned it. Oh, Tennessee's playing ball. Uh-oh. Yeah, everybody's starting college football Saturday. Um, I don't know about where y'all live, but here in the South, college football is like life. Um, most people, I'm not going to say everyone because that's not true, but most people are all about some college football. SEC. That's, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so there's my... My little ping pong paddle looks like a ping pong ball, ping pong paddle. You lost 70 pounds, awesome, see? Ooh, I haven't tried spaghetti squash, Alicia. So there's Alicia, she just commented. And you can message her if you're interested in learning about it. Um, and you know, a lot of people kind of get turned off for the fact of the price, but 
I've tried so much other stuff and put so much money into other stuff. Um, my husband did it for months and I saw it work for him and I tasted all his stuff and I was like, hmm, I think I can do this. And um, so then I tried it and I like it because it's everything's thought out for me. I don't have to worry about, okay, what am I going to eat now? What am I going to eat? And we cook like once a week, we cook two meals and you look at how many servings it is. And so we eat something different every other night. We eat, you know, we space it out. So we have everything pretty much for the week. So I'm not buying McDonald's breakfast. I'm not buying uh, Sonic ice cream. I'm not going to little, get little Debbie's. I'm not buying chips and all the junk and all the stuff that you buy at the grocery store. I go in there and buy the stuff I got to get for my two meals for the week and some water and maybe some diet drinks and I'm done. So I don't, uh, so if you think of the price, yes, but it's everything you need to eat for a whole entire month except for 30 meals. Everything. Okay, so I'm going to paint that because I couldn't hold on to it and paint that, but it's and then again, it's like, maybe I should have do that brown, but if I change my mind, I can always paint it brown. But anyway, so it wor it's working for me, and I like it. Um, then I'll have to see what I need to do once I get to my maintenance. Laura, I do, um, you know, depending on what I'm cooking, or we'll get rotisserie chicken, and I'll make meals with that. Uh, they eat out some, so. Yeah, your, your taste kind of does change once you get off the sugar and all the stuff. It does change. But I've gotten off and cheated a little bit, so it's not, you know. And I just get right back on. Yay, Janet got her earrings. I, I got it cut and I got it. My roots did today, this morning. Okay. All right. So here, it looks like a little black uh, skillet, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Let's pick someone else. Uh-oh. Oh, I swiped them away. Okay. I got to get them going and then I'll go. Let's see. Kathy, is it Stur Sturton? Stur S Where's my pen? S. Kathy Sturton, C-A-T-H, and then S-T-I-R-T-O-N. Um, I will send you the square one. Let's see, hold on. <laughs> the little square one that I'm doing, well, I'm doing the round one, but this square one, I'll send you that one. I love pizza too, Vicky. I just saw pizza, Vicky's comment. I could eat pizza every day. Um, let me write square so I'll know, because I'll look back and go, what in the world? Oh, good. You got your earrings. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, there's this. Now, I'm going to take my chippy brush. Hey, Terry. Hey, Julie. Okay. So, I haven't done Happy Mail or gift aways in a long time. So, I'm like, I need to do that. All right. Just a little bit. And I think I'm going to kind of do it like round like a pumpkin since this is round this is the perfect one to do it on and kind of give it some of these little t where it looks like it's round or the ribs or whatever and you can go as heavy or as light as you want to I'm just going to do the edges some. Then I get a second chance on the back side. <laughs> then we pick which side's best. Betty, it's called, I, I say Octavia. It's O-P-T-A-V-I-A. -A. And you can, uh, you can Google it. But Alicia Edmonds is on here and you can message her because she's a coach and she can tell you all, give you all the info and, you know, all that kind of stuff. She's lost over 100 pounds, I think. Does it look like an onion? <laughs> oh, that onion's going to go down in the books. 
as a, that was a classic moment. All right, there's that side and then there's this side. I kind of like that side better. All right, let me put my brush in the water. And I gotta do something to this stem. Crafting at your craft table. Okay, so yeah, this one's from Hobby Lobby since somebody's asking. It's um, it's in the fall section. It's that Robert Stanley, whoever Robert Stanley is, I don't know, but they're two, it's two dollars right now because they're half off. So this is the same thing, it's just round. Um, I'm gonna get some of this orange and put just a titch of black and I'm gonna make try to make a little bit of brown and do the stem kind of make it a little bit brown so see I didn't have to even get any brown out I just get some of this orange and a little black no need to waste any more paint I've got plenty out here So there's my, I just kind of painted it brown. It doesn't look that red on the screen, I mean, on, in real life. So there it is. So it's my stem. I've got too much black. Ugh. Okay, now I think I'm happy with that, maybe. And I hold it up there and it looks really bright and it's not that bright. The camera is very deceiving. I know, Sandy, I like them too. I think it's going to be cute all together. When I have them put in my home at home and we do them all up in a minute. And I think it's going to look really cute. Okay. So, I'm going to sand. We'll sand the edges and that just is going to kind of give that edge a kind of defined look. I'm making a mess. Okay. And these silicone mats are awesome, but everything sticks to them. But anyway, there's my thing. Okay, so I'm going to do something to one of these. Maybe, I don't know which one. I may do it to a couple of them. Um, that I, I had never done it before until I did it. Um, I did it the other night in uh, the, my subscription group when we were painting our set. And that opens um, Saturday. I changed the date. It's going to open Saturday. Um... Oh, Angela, you're sweet. And I did it in there, and I used cinnamon and did the cinnamon technique. I'd never done it before. And I'm going to do that on some of these just to give them that little crusty look. I can't find Here it is, my Mod Podge. Um, so if you've never tried it, you need to try it because I've never done it, and I did it the other night, and I love the way it looked. Um, another onion. Okay, so I'm going to just... This is Mod Podge, so I'm going to just put it kind of around the edges a little bit. And I'm, I'm going to do the, some little swipes, like right in the center, you know, the little ribs, like they where they would be. Yeah, I don't talk about my onion. <laughs> and so I'm going to do that. Let's hope this looks good. If not, I have to sand it off. Yeah, Home Goods has them too. Yeah, we get a lot of ours from Home Goods that my husband engraves on. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my cinnamon from Dollar Tree. It's just cinnamon. And I will do it. I'm doing it over my trash can because it can get messy. So there it is. So there it is. See my little swoopy swoops in the middle? But if you don't, don't want it that defined, you can always take some of it off. Then I'm gonna go right back on top. Maybe I need to dry it. Cause I don't know. 
I like the cinnamon too, and I fell in love with it when I tried it. Now I'm all about it. Um, oop. So I'm going to go back over it. And the Mod Podge is just going to kind of seal it on where it's not going to go anywhere. And yes, it's going to brush some of it off at the same time, but I'm okay with that. So, but it's going to just make it stay where it is. But it's also going to make it look darker. All right. There's ta -da. the notification. So I talked a, a little bit about this the other night. Um, my texting service, all of us crafters pretty much use the same texting service. They have changed the way they do things and they've changed their pricing. So I'm looking into, an, into something else at the moment, but I kept what I have. Um, it's just crazy, ridiculous, expensive. Hey, Rebecca. So, um, I'm just trying to find another option, which I found one, and you can keep the same number, so none of that will change. So, I'm hoping that that's going to be my go-to. I just got to have time to look at it. Oh, Robbie, you did a rake with cinnamon? Yeah, it does smell yummy. See, it's just, it's just a little bit. I didn't want too much on it. Um... So I'm gonna set this, I didn't do it on the back, but I just did it on the front. But you wanna see it up close. So see, some of it came off, but it's okay, cause I just I wanted it to look like it's just kind of crusty looking. Now, I'm coming back to this one. This is gonna be, I'm gonna decide what to do. I think somebody wanted me to put some King's Gold on it. But look, I found this other color at, at Walmart called Golden Sunset. And it's a little bit darker than King's Gold. Yeah, Telegram. I did get Telegram. I got to figure it out, though. I'm just trying to weigh my options. Um, but see, Golden Sunset, and this is King's Gold. So, Golden Sunset is a little bit darker. Um, hey, Karen. So, I, I might go with the Golden Sunset. <laughs> and see, there again, twist your top the wrong way, and the plastic will come off most of the time. Sometimes it won't. <laughs> then you have to, don't do it with your teeth. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put out, let me see. I'm gonna show you, see if I can show you the difference in the two. So there's Golden Sunset, and that's King's Gold. So that's like a more of an earthy, and this is a little bit brighter yellow. I saw it and I'm like, oh, I like that. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit, I think, maybe, let's try, not much, just, I'm gonna do a chip brush, and get most of it off, I got too much off, it didn't even come on, on my brush, I'm just gonna kinda do some maybe around the sides, really pretty though okay so there's what I have so far just subtle and it's a lot more in person than what you can see because on the when I looked at the camera I thought gosh you can't even see it <laughs> so I'm just kind of hitting it okay can't even see it on there I don't know if it's drying and it's fading into the background. I'm gonna paint. Just a little bit. <laughs> you keep your stuff focused on stuff for the wedding. I don't blame you. Yeah, I like the buffalo. This is kind of subtle. This is the Ikea one. I mean, uh, Aldi one. This is the Ikea one. Alright. There it is. I gotta do something with this up here. I went way up high on my stem. 
with the paint before I realized, oh, I gotta have a stem. <laughs> It's so fun having y'all sit here and talk too while I'm creating something for my house. See, it's, see all those, it's like four or five different colors in there. But I am going to, sand some of it off. Now you're like, oh no, she's sanding all that paint. kind of sanding a little off. Let's go this way. It'll work out doing this. It's all over the place. Dust. See, that kind of brought out a little of the wood and I see there we go the spots that need a little more so just kind of roughed it off a little bit Whew. this is the part of the live where I start sweating I don't know why I guess it's just um flash. Let me put some yellow. I think I sanded all my yellow off. Okay. I sanded the yellow off. I had to put yellow back on it. I was like, I got my yellow off. You started decorating your porch today? I'm planning on doing that this weekend. I'm, I'm going to get all my stuff down, get my boys to get my stuff down tomorrow. And I, or this, well, yeah, sometime tomorrow. And I'm gonna try to do that this weekend. And y'all know the subscription boxes, they're gonna be a day late because Monday's a holiday. And even if you've ordered anything, y'all know it's gonna be a little late because it's a holiday. So I was gonna rub stain, I mean not stain, um, wax on it, but I think I broke down and got one of these because they were on sale the other day. This one is ground espresso from the Tim Holtz kind of stuff. And I think I'm just gonna hit my edges a little. See what that does. I'm getting brave. <laughs> See, it's starting to look. I'm kind of doing the, the rib motion. There's that. Maybe I should do the stem a little too. Give the stem a little something up here. I'm just kind of getting happy with my stamps. I wonder how long it takes these things to dry. I hope not long. I'm gonna wipe some of that off. How many baby wipes have I used? About um, 12 or 15? You already decorated your porch? Oh, that's cool. It's just kind of smearing it a little bit. So it's kind of blending it and smearing it all at the same time. So it looks like it's going down in my pumpkin. <laughs> so yes, you can wipe that back off. Yeah. 
looks super dark on there, but I promise you it's not that dark. Um, I got to do the sides, though, because they look too orange. But we got to fix, fix them up and put some cute stuff on the stems and all this good stuff. That's what I'm going to do next. Oh, yeah, stamp pads are awesome. I love just to use them for hitting stuff with. This is, I guess, Tim Holtz or whatever. They had them on sale the other day, like a couple weeks ago, and I just picked up a couple. Because I've never had any of this brand, and I was like, oh, I want to try it. And I was with Tanya from Hummingbird Painter, and she, she wanted some too, so I was like, okay, we'll just get it and we'll both try it. And, um, all right. Okay. So, now I'm just going to kind of wipe that a little bit. But they do wipe off with this. So, now I'm going to look at my body and look at my hands. They look. When using ink to blend, use a small sponge. I know I see them little dauber things that people use too, and of course I don't have one of those, but I'm gonna let that sit and dry a minute, and then we're gonna move on to this over here. Let's see, this is our first one. He's all dry. It's a wonder he's not covered in paint because he's over here with a paint plate. I know it's weird, the colors, like when I take pictures of them tomorrow and y'all see them after I stage them in my house, y'all gonna be like, oh, they do look different colors because it's weird. They look funny on here. And then when you see in real life, it's not like that. Look how cute he is. I think I want to put some cinnamon on this guy. I'm liking this cinnamon. Okay. Where's the Mod Podge? <laughs> here it is. Because <laughs> no. this bottle looks just like this bottle, not this bottle. This bottle looks just like these bottles. So all these bottles are sitting out here and it's, yeah. Tim Holtz. I, Regina, I think so. It, um, it seems to go on sale. You know, he, he's proud of his stuff and it don't go on sale, but every so often, I don't know the pattern with Hobby Lobby. So if anybody knows that pattern, can you please share it with us, please? What their pattern is of how they, what their sale, uh, times are or whatever that makes any sense. Because some things only go on sale certain, you know, a couple times a year or something. And I don't, I don't know the pattern of how they put things on sale. Is it every other week? Or is it every three weeks? Or somebody enlighten us because there's probably somebody on here that works at Hobby Lobby or has worked at Hobby Lobby or knows about it. I don't know. Okay. He still looks like an onion. <laughs> Y'all gonna never let me live that down. Yes, I I put the Mod Podge right back over my cinnamon. Some of mine's probably dried, but I'm trying to get it. This is a big board, so I'm trying to get it all on here. But this is Dollar Tree cinnamon, so it's Dollar twenty-five, and this probably lasts me a very long time. So I may have to come back and do more. My garbage is gonna smell wonderful. Look, <laughs> trying to hit all the spots. Now. There's some of it. I think I need to do a little more. I didn't get it over here. So yes, I put this on and then I'll go back and I will seal the whole thing with Mod Podge and um, seal the cinnamon in. And it makes the cinnamon darker. And I just tried this last weekend for the first time and I fell in love with the cinnamon now. I'm like, that is super cool. Okay, so 
there's some of it. And I just wanted it kind of in the high spots. Gosh, there's cinnamon everywhere. Where is, what am I looking for? I think I'm gonna kind of, it made it kind of dusty. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe some of this off in between so I can still see my white. Cause it don't look white. Okay, so there it is. And now, put some Mod Pod, where did it go? Lost it again. Tim, Tim Holtz, um, those stamps, yes. Or Ranger Rick, or yeah, his Tim Holtz, his little signature is right there. So yes, it's Tim Holtz. I follow his page on Facebook. I don't know if y'all do too, but he, he does some cool looking stuff. Um, some of it's kind of far out there for me but it is, he does some neat looking stuff with all his little stamps and all the stuff he uses and it just looks really cool. Cinnamon rolls. Oh, y'all just, y'all just trying to hurt me with the cinnamon rolls now. Woo, I could tear up some cinnamon rolls. All right, so we're gonna see what this is gonna look like. So got it all kind of covered and I probably didn't do as much cinnamon as somebody else probably would have. Hey Tanya with Hummingbird Painter, I was just talking about you. How we had to use our, we had to get our little pads at Hobby Lobby so we could try it. Yeah, Christmas is half, half? I know fall's half, and Christmas is either 40 or it's half too. And I was like really shocked because it's early for them to put it on sale. But maybe they got stuck with a lot of it last year, so they didn't want to get stuck with it this year. Um, so maybe that's why they got it on sale this early, but it's early to me. And it's kind of bubbling up, but it's okay because I, I, I'm bringing on the texture here. Makes that Mod Podge kind of bubble. Look how full it's looking. And I didn't do as much to it, like I said, as probably like Mandy would have. I'm, I'm still kind of scared. <laughs> That's right, Claire. I agree with that. Nothing tastes as good as being skinny feels. I don't, I don't know. Some, there's some things I might could say would run a close race. <laughs> oh, Christmas is 50% off. I was just in there yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yes. Cause I had to go to my doctor's appointment and it was right up there by the big, good, uh, big, uh, Dollar Tree and the big, um, or oh, the Hobby Lobby is right around the corner. Not a big Hobby Lobby, but okay. I got rusty hinge too. It's really orange. See, it's real orange. I was really surprised at how orange it was. But I'll, I'll trust you and I'll put a little rusty hinge on it. I'm not gonna go crazy because it's really orange. See, is it supposed to be that orange? So it's gonna dry. Oh, okay, so they have an abundance of stuff in their storerooms to put out. So maybe that's why they're putting it on sale so early. They may have got... Oh, good. Carla posted the schedule of how they put things on sale. You are the bomb. White cinnamon. Oh, white with the cinnamon. I thought, white cinnamon? Where'd you get white cinnamon? I know, it's really orange, see? I was thinking, okay, rusty hinge, I was thinking, you know, it's gonna be like this color. Oh no, it's like an orange color. So I'm gonna set this to the side. This one is dry, look. And now we've got to do all the things. And I'm gonna have to take a bath when I get done. So I got this one, this one, 
Look how cute. And then this one. And okay. What I want to do to this one. Okay, so if y'all didn't get this, they probably I know they still have it, but when oh, I had to see what fell. Um I got this at Amazon Prime when I mean day the prime days were going on. And I have not used it as y'all can see. Um now I'm wondering what this bag or whatever this is in there. I've never seen that before. So I'm like itching to use this stuff. So I'm thinking. Ugh. No, it takes a while. Somebody said they only looked at fall decor. It takes a while to go through the whole store. If you're like strolling. Okay. Yours is more rusty. See, mine is really orange and I was just really surprised how pretty this is and you only get a little bit of each kind but look at that so I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna make me a little bow I just don't know but I want to use it and I brought it out here thinking okay this is gonna be it I'm gonna get to do it but no I'm gonna have to go to this I'll notice look I mean look what is this what is what is that stuff gives me nightmares. This stuff nightmares is made of right here. Right here. Maybe that's the thing that holds it together. Okay. I probably waste way more of this stuff than I use. I, I know I do. Because it just gives me the, I don't know. All the, all just the chaotic mess. Okay, so now I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna do this, even though I got that ribbon. I don't know if it's too big. A bag to keep the twining. Oh, is that what that is? Take the bag out because we can see. Okay, I will. So I'm gonna tie my raffia over here, even though it's, I'm, I'm struggling. I have nightmares about it, I promise. See if I can tie a cute bow, which is probably going to look hideous. Okay, move, move. <clears throat> hideous! I'm telling y'all. I, I need a, a lesson in Raffia 101 or something. I'm telling you. It just gives me... Now somebody, somebody come tie this bow. Somebody come tie this bow. Because I pull one side, it gets loose, and I pull the other, and then I pull it, and it gets tight, and then it, ugh. You know what I'm going to do here in just a second. And no, not throw it across the room, because I really want to. <laughs> so I'm going to make it stay down. Because when I pull it, it gets loose, and then it gets tight. I'm not gluing it to the board. I'm just gluing it. Thank you, Joanne. It came from Beware. Um, yes, Carla, thank you for posting it in the group. If y'all are not in the group, um, it's just my free community group. It's uh, the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. And it's where everybody just goes and shares all their crafts and stuff. Oh, make the bow and put it on. Now you tell me. Well, it's on there. I'm struggling, y'all. Not, it's looking better. I just I guess I just got to play with it. So now, what do I do with all that hangy stuff? <laughs> oh, y'all you know, like I act like I had never done this before. But uh, Rafi is just, uh, uh, I just can't. And it knows I don't like it, and it just treats me bad. <laughs> it treats me bad because. Hot glue, will, that's right. I'm going to tame it with the hot glue. And I didn't get out my straightener iron and straighten it. I tried to do it with my hands before I came on because I was like, please. I was like, I was like trying to straighten it. I was like, please act right tonight. Please do for me. Act right. And I am going to put one little dot of hot glue back here. And we're going to hold it 
down. It is an awesome group. Yes, drop a glue, Wendy. Done it. Because it's not wanting to work with me. All right. So, I need to put something else on here. All right. So, I'm going to show y'all. Here's the leaves I get from Hobby Lobby that I use in my home. These are, this is one of them. There's another set, too, that's real dark brown. But this is them. So, I was kind of thinking gonna be two that's gonna be too big but it would be pretty though just one hula skirt I got the hula skirt over here too yes I do all right so how would that look with just a fall leaf on there is that too big not for a pumpkin leaf but I just like it because it's a fall leaf you like the raffia going every which way me too, but I'm telling you, it don't do that for me. It goes, what it does whatever way it wants to go. And it's never the way I want it to. So, no, that's too big. Um, get down here. Now. Luann, it went good. My mammogram was good. Everything was negative. And then um, they did the blood. They drew the blood for the uh, genetic testing, and it'd be like two weeks before I know. I love the raffia. See, I kind of like the leaf, even though it's not a pumpkin leaf. I just like it because it's fall, and I think it's pretty. But you know what? I think I'm going to do something else to this board. I'm going to do something else. And it just hit me of what it needs. Because I know what it needs. It needs a little copper. It needs some copper love. Come on. I'm telling you, I need to go to Michael's. Because <laughs> I am almost out of this beautiful copper color. That's too big. So I've got, this color is the Michaels, but this is just like it, which is, it's the same as that color. And then um, this is antique copper, which is, it's a darker copper. It's really pretty. And this is so big, and I know this is too big. Where are all my brushes? But anyway, I'm going to have to go with it. So I'm just getting a little on my brush. And I gotta dab it somewhere. My plate's too full. And I'm just gonna hit hit some high spots. And y'all probably won't even be able to see. But it's really pretty. You might can see it. It's wet, but it just has that little bit of a copper sheen to it. Cause I got I'm putting a lot of copper in my decor this year. I love the copper. So you like the leaf? Yeah, I have a little flat iron that I have done that before. I was just too lazy to get it out. Okay, so here's my leaf. And I think I'm, I know that's too big for a pumpkin leaf, but I just like the way it looks. See the copper? Y'all can see it. It's really, really pretty. Um, okay, so y'all like the leaf. So I'm going to put just a dot down. Tanya, this board's from Ikea. We got to go to Ikea one day. That's up there by you. I know. These leaves are so pretty. I I have put them in all of my, um, my fall decor in my house. I just like they look natural. And it's not glaring colors. But it's $3.99 and they're floral, you know, when you get it when it's half off. So, it's $2 for this pick. And I take them apart, I poke them in my decor, poke them in my tear tray, I put them on my uh, mantle, and I have, there's another set of those in Hobby Lobby, and they're a dark, dark brown. They're like about this color, and they look real, and I love them. Okay, so here's this one. Love, love, love. Isn't it pretty? Look, I put some copper up here. You can really see it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and maybe... Rusty hinge is dried. Now, see, look how orange the rusty hinge is. Does that not look like orange? Oh, 
it's not dry, but I'm just kind of smearing it in with my fingers. Okay, here's this one. So now I've got to figure out what to do on this one. I got so much on this table. Hula skirt or raffia or what do y'all think? What do y'all think it needs? Um, I got some of this. I got, uh, I might throw just a little in there because it's going to go with that. Add, Diane, I thought about that. I thought about putting some copper on that leaf. So all my brushes are, um, let's, all my brushes are in the water. Well, if I do any of this, it's going to be kind of in the background. So I'm going to take a little bit of buffalo. I think I'm going to make a little messy bow, maybe of some sort. And put on this one. Um, I'm not going to put a lot in it though. Oh, oh i got to move stuff to get stuff. Wrapping twine around the handle. <gasps> oh, yes, we must. Thank you. See, y'all help me. Y'all help me. Y'all help me. So cool. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Doing it. Whoever said that, wonderful. Because I have all this stuff on this table and it's like, I'm like, okay, I'm planning on doing this, this, and this, and then it changes halfway through, and then it's like, you just forget. Okay, well, I got this out because I'm going to do this, and then you totally forget about it, about halfway in the craft. Okay. Ooh, I like the bead idea. So, I've got that. Now, it's going to be tricky on this rounded part. I'm going to have to glue it some. Goodness, okay. How long have we been on here? Oh, Lord, hour and a half. Of course, we did a bunch of boards. Y'all are going to see it tomorrow. I'm going to go, oh, that's so cute. Got to get up in the morning and take all my stuff down. Oh, a sunflower, yes. And I have like um, these faded ones in my house right now. They're not just screaming yellow. They're uh, more of a, I'm gonna have to stop right there because that rounded part, it's getting hard to go all the way up. And I just glued my finger with the end of that gun and it was hot. Okay, so there it is. Yeah. Cute. Hey, Monica from North Carolina. Get that hot glue off of there. Okay, so I stopped up here because you know it, up here it just kind of it's I, I don't know it wouldn't wouldn't act right. <laughs> so I just stopped. Yay. Okay, now we got that much. Cute. Cut that off. Super cute. You could wrap it with burlap too. Y'all, I'm sweating. And this light's not hot, but I promise you, sitting in front of it makes me hot, and I don't know why. Because it's not heat. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Y'all got any of this stuff from the Dollar Tree? So I'm going to put some of that. I'm gonna fold it in half because it's wide. Put that in the background. See, it's pretty cool. I just saw it in there one day. I was like, hmm, I need some of that. <laughs> they had like four colors and I just kind of grabbed some. What else do I need? Oh boy. My yarn. Put some of this. Come on. Cut. I'm gonna 
hold this and cut and I need another hand. I need somebody to come tie the raffia for me. Hey Robin! And hold this down. <laughs> and I'll think of some other stuff too. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut this down. I know it's too big. But I am gonna cut it down. So I'm just making a little messy bow and I'm making a mess of my table and this is probably the worst it's been in a long time. <laughs> and it's always bad. But I got out a lot of stuff. Let's see. Ooh, okay. That side must not be straight, so it just ended for me. Let's put some of this. Where's the other piece? And my jute is in this ball. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do a zip tie like I normally do. I'm gonna try to tie it tight. Cause I think the zip tie will be too bulky on the, when I try to put it on the board, a strip from your flannel shirt. Oh, Tina, I don't know, it's down there somewhere. That would look cute though. Oh, this board? Yeah, they had it in the spring section, and I got it when it was 60% off, and then it went all the way down to 75% off, and then it went to 90 and all that. And I, yeah, but I got it when it was um, 60, I think. Because, you know, you never know if it's going to go down any lower or not, and you're scared not to get it because, I, you know, I, need, I wanted it. It was like, well, because I don't remember how much it was. Flannel, flannel, flannel. <laughs> I know, and it's, I can't even get to the flannel right now. I need some flannel. I don't know why. Why did I not think of the flannel, guys? I've been using flannel forever. Um, that shows you my brain, just like not thinking. It's hard to think of all the things, but it's over there in a pile. Yes, I need to add a piece of flannel. That matches my books and all my stuff my pumpkins okay this yarn looks like caterpillars are coming out of it but look how I just wanted a little bow look how cute so I'm gonna put this up here look I might even I might even do this <laughs> All right, I can might handle this much of raffia, this, just this much. I might can I can might can deal with that much. So I'm gonna just put some under my bow, but I'm gonna cut it. Do, do. So I'm put the raffia down, and then I'm gonna put my bow down. Cut the material background material in half. I folded it in half. Does that count? Okay. Let me, let me fluff it and get it all fixed. So see, it's got the buffalo check in it because I want it to, to look, you know, to kind of go together. All right. Now I'm going to cut my Rapunzel's hair. Looks like Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Okay. It's got just, just a little raffia. Not, nothing crazy. Now I'm trying to tame it and get it to go where I want it to go. So that doesn't look too bad. Look at there. Cute. Cute, cute. Okay, so this is what we got so far. See, look how adorable this is going to look on my shelves. Oh my gosh. Looks so cute. And we still got two to do. All right, so now this one, I don't even know what this one needs. Let me just find something. I got so much scraps over here. Um, and I can't put the flannel on that one because if I put the flannel on that one, it's definitely going to clash. Yay! 
Yay, thank y'all for the hearts. So, let's, I'm just, I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that. I have no room to go this way, y'all, because there's, yeah. I need to take a picture of my table and send it to y'all and show y'all because it's bad. Um, okay, so I got this, tore, I tore this. So I think I'm gonna fold it in like that. I just folded the ends in. And I think I'm gonna make like a little bow maybe and maybe some raffia maybe that's too wide that's what it is it's too wide all right now i'm going to fold the ends in and i'm going to make a little bow like this maybe maybe Ooh. hold on cute Put a sunflower instead of a bow. And I don't have anything like right off hand that's not just bright yellow. You could almost paint a scarecrow on the face for fall. Yes, you could. Um, oh. <laughs> Y'all seen these at Dollar Tree? Y'all seen them? They're like leather. What if I... Oh boy, what if I did that? You know what, and I have two sets of these. Why don't I just let one of y'all have a set? Put a button, yes, a button? I didn't even get my buttons down. They're up there, but I will put a button in the middle. Three beads and hang from, ooh, that will look pretty. Let's see, I'm trying to get th this, I don't know what this is all about. So I'm gonna take the leather off because it's way too long. Or faux leather or whatever this is. And I'm gonna make it my own. So I just cut a piece of it and I think I'm gonna tie a knot. Because that was doubled and it wasn't wanting to lay down. Paint your sunflower. Put a black button. Yes, a black button. It needs a black button. A black something. Okay. So I put a knot in the end and then I'm going to put it back through the leaf so the, it doesn't come out. Come on. Like that. Ta -da! And let me get everything stacked back up. See how long I want this little thing to be. So he can kind of hang from the bow. And yes, I need something black in the middle. Okay. Come on. Act right. All right. So let's... So yeah, I may have to do something black after the live because um, my buttons are all up there on a shelf in a jar. Oh, you used those today? Ooh, I got them yesterday at Dollar Tree. I hadn't seen them. And I was like, oh, I need those. All right, so I just tied me some raffia in the middle of my little piece of fabric that's doubled over. Nothing fancy. To hold it together. So then, I'm gonna see. All right. Get this to act well. Come on now. Now. So I don't want it to hang way down. So I'm going to cut it there. Put some glue. There. Put this this way. Welcome, Susan. I see somebody welcoming Susan. Got to drop off early to work. Prayers, everyone. Bye, Tammy. Good night. Have a good day at work tomorrow. Okay. Super cute. 
give it a little haircut. Look how cute. See, it? look, it even matches the color. Look how stinking cute this is. So cute. It's my little pleather thing. It looks cute. Hey, Neil, do I know with Branch? You're my neighbor. So cute. Um, so I have, actually have, where is it? Another pack. Ooh, and y'all are hanging in here with me for so long. So let's scroll on back and find somebody to send these to. Robin Reason. I like that name. Robin Reason. Message me your address. And I will send you these little leather little tags. Because I bought two packs. Robin Reason. Leaves. I'm going to put leaves and I'll know what it is. Leather. Leather. Okay. Now I got to go back. Da -da. Okay. Y'all, I'm sweating. So my stool's about to roll out from under me. Okay. So now we have this. And we have this. And we have this. Look how cute! Oh my goodness! Maybe I'll put this one in the front because it's skinny. Oh, oh, pumpkin down! Cute! Look how stinking adorable this is. Y'all, when I stage it tomorrow, y'all gonna be like, oh, I know to do that this weekend. So cute. Okay, now, Mr. Black Sheep of the Family. <laughs> we gotta put something on him, and I don't know what it's gonna be. Um,. I might save that leather. I might need that. <sighs> okay. So. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm looking for suggestions. What do y'all think? Should I? Hmm. I got fabric. I got... Okay, I think I'm going to do this. What if I make a little bow out of this yarn that we like so much? Oh, thank you, Sharon. It's from Beware. I got it last year, but they have a different, um, they have a version this year of it, too. I love their shirts. I love them. Somebody messaged me today and said, I took a chance and I ordered some shirts and I absolutely love them. I'm like, I know that's how I was too. When I first ordered, I was taking a chance. I have a small sunflower. Like this. I have that. Okay. So I think I'm going to, I made a little bundle. We're going to see what this looks like. It may not look good. So, it may not look good. Orange ribbon color to tie in to the other colors. Hmm. And I just thought of something. I don't have any. I have colored raffia, I think, but I don't know if I can get to it. Look how cute that is. I wonder what would happen if we did this. I wonder what would happen if we cut the ends. Now it looks kind of like a tarantula. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh gosh. Flannel strips. Hold on. This. <laughs> I finally got it. I'm telling you, there ain't like a pile right here on the floor. Okay, flannel, flannel, flannel. I'm trying to make sure this is the color I want to use. This shirt's still got lots of good, good on this shirt. Okay, the other one is a pumpkin. So it may be too big. Use one of your wooden sunflowers. Oh, I could do that. Um, kind of like in the flannel. Let's see. 
Like make a messy bow with it? Is that what y'all are saying? He was thinking a spider. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I wasn't the only one, Earlene. It looks like a tarantula. Let's see. One more. Thank y'all for hanging in here with me. I knew this was going to be a long one, but I wanted to get these done because I'm going to start decorating for fall um, this weekend. You don't like the brown on the black pumpkin. Skinny black check. Like this. I have that. I don't have any of my other over here. I got a tarantula. It looks like a mustache. <laughs> Strand of little wooden beads hanging down. Okay. I got plenty of that. Let's see. I know this is way too long and I'm just going to cut them in half. All right. Because it's way too big. So let's do this. Let's put some of this real pretty orange. That's that orange uh, yarn that I like. And that will tie into the other orange, maybe. And that, maybe a piece of this. Do -do -do. Okay. I think the flannel will look good on the black. I do too. Because it's got the brown cinnamon on it. So I kind of think. And the, you know the stem's brown. So maybe. It's going to tie it together. Hopefully. Okay. Haircut, haircut. Get to be a barber every once in a while. Okay. So there's my little flannel puff, puff ball is what it looks like. So there's my little flannel. Some light mixed in. All right. Let's do this. Let's. What if I put a little bit of this behind my messy bow to where it kind of, it kind of sticks out just a little bit where you see it. Amazing how she does that. I don't, I miss that. <laughs> put some Buffalo check behind the whole thing, maybe. kind of scissors they're fiskers and they're like spring scissors spring action scissors or something like that let's see i got bunches of little beads y'all remember i got this little box that was regularly 15 dollars, and i got it at hobby lobby for very inexpensive i can't remember it was like three dollars or something it's very cheap all right so there's my juke it's gonna take me an hour to clean this table off of, I promise. This is, look at this. <laughs> it's pitiful. Yeah, it feels like some are here too, but we're getting a little bit of a break um, this weekend, which is nice. Sunflower in the middle, ooh. Yeah, that's cute. I am gonna put a couple of beads on it because y'all been saying beads 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 so one of them needs beads so i'm just tying a knot in the end of my string where my beads won't go off into neverland they'll just go straight off yeah needs a sunflower lori yes tennessee one yay tennessee one i don't even know who they played <laughs> i have no idea 
I didn't know anybody was playing. Thank you, Brenda. The black check beads with the other check. Yeah, they're big though. I think they're too big for this because they're like, they're pretty big. Ta -da. Just hang one, okay. You know what else we forgot? I forgot. Tendrils. Hello? Hello? Y'all, I don't even know my tendril stuff. I can't believe nobody said, you need some tendrils. All right, so let's do that. Put my bow up here. Get it all fixed. All right, so let's glue this down first. Natural beads, yes, I'm gonna leave them just like they are. All right, and then I'm gonna put, let me put my little beads hanging down. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that into the bow or under the bow. That way I'll have to do it but one time. Where did you get the scissors? Uh, Amazon. And I think they're in my Amazon store, actually. Hey, Kathy from South Carolina. Okay, Holly, go to bed. Night, night. <laughs> I know I've been on forever. Two hours. Okay. So let me trim. Trim my, whoop, my buffalo check back here because I just kind of randomly cut it. Cut some of this flannel. It's too big. Okay. Let me cut my jute. Look how cute. The wire paper, I got these at Walmart and I'll probably never find them again. And I've told y'all about them and I don't know if, um, um, somebody said you get them on Amazon too because I really like this brown paper. It's wire wrapped in brown paper. And I really like it. It's got a hot mess in this room. I got too much to do to be cleaning it. Mm. So let's put a tendril on him at least. Because they need some tendrils. It's gotta be a pumpkin. It's gotta have some of those curly things and a sunflower. Get that glue off of there. Okay, so there's my tendril. Then, <laughs> and then the sunflower. Okay, I'll put the sunflower on there. For y'all, I'll put the sunflower. And I gotta cut this little thing off the back. Cause you know, it's that little part where it goes on the stem. Going on there. Oh, yeah, Walmart and Joann's probably has them too. And I know Joann's puts their Fisker stuff on sale quite a bit. So you might wait, but you could just look at Amazon. But I think Walmart does too. Um, but they're they're pretty cool though. You just have to get used to not putting your fingers in the holes. It's kind of strange at first. Uh, maybe they're called spring action scissors or something to that effect. I'm not really sure. But uh, some spring-loaded scissors, I'm not positive. Somebody else might know. But they have like a little safety thing and you just pop it and it opens them. Okay. Glue string. Okay, there he is. Look how cute. Is that not adorable? And this is the Hobby Lobby one that was $2. So cute. Okay, so now we have the whole family. I gotta make tendrils though. The whole pumpkin family. And it's gonna look so cute. P 
picks in the wedding shop at Hobby Lobby that work perfect for tendrils. Oh, okay. I'll have to look there. I will look there. Okay, they put scissors on sale. I never thought about that, but I guess they do put them on sale. You got yours at Walmart. Jackie got her wall at Walmart, so look at Walmart. Look how stinking cute. Um, but I gotta make tendrils. Now, the question is, I gotta find, but I'm gonna show y'all how to make it, make them with Mod Podge. If you'll just hang on one second. If I can't find it, because it's one little lonely stick somewhere and it's probably fell off the table. Oh, here it is. But I'm gonna show y'all how to make, make them with Mod Podge. Um, real quick, because I've been telling y'all that I was gonna show you and I'm gonna show you. This is how I've done it in the past. Um, and they'll, it'll stay, um, they'll stay in the shape. You know, I know you can heat them, you can wet the jute and then dry it with a hair dryer and curl it around a rod and all that stuff. Um, but this is how I've done it in the past. Thank y'all. Okay. So I have a dowel and it's bigger than a pencil. It's like one of those big fat pencils from school or something. It's about that big. You can do it with a magic marker, depending on how many tendrils you need. So I wrapped it with saran wrap. Okay. That's important because if you don't, it's going to stick to your, um, your wood and won't come off. So we're going to take some of this, some of my jute, and I'm going to cut it right here. Because I used to make wood pumpkins and sell them in a vendor market, and I would need a bunch of tendrils. So this is how I did it. And you do them all at one time, put them in a Ziploc bag, and you save them. Um, okay, so you're going to take your jute, and you can use a little water too. And I'm going to put... Um, my Mod Podge in this bowl. Um, and now I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here, just a little bit. And it gets messy. So I'm gonna just soak, what you wanna do is you wanna soak your jute in this Mod Podge stuff. Um, thank you, Teresa, thank y'all. Okay, well the wired, the wired jute from Dollar Tree I like it, but once you cut it, it starts trying to unravel, and I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> okay. The shirt came from Beware um, Sportswear, but it was last year's shirt, but they have another version that's similar. Just had the Mod Podge. Where did I do with it? How many times have I lost a Mod Podge tonight? At least four. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit more. I may have put too much water. Yes, you do this like this. Okay, Fisker's 8-inch soft grip something. I lost it. Scissors. Okay, all right. Yeah, they're very sharp. I will say that. Okay, so I've got my my jute real saturated with my Mod Podge and a little bit of water. So then, and this is an overnight thing. This isn't something that you can just use right away. So I'm going to make sure I got it, you know, good and soaked. And then I'm just going to take it, and you may have to scotch tape it or something to the stick. Sometimes I can just double over itself. And then you're just going to wrap it on this raw, on this dowel, just like this. And you're going to set it to dry overnight under a fan or something, and it's going to dry. And then you're going to have all this little springy stuff, and you'll be able to take it right off that saran wrap and slide it off. But sometimes you can get the end to stay down like that. And so now you're just going to let that dry. And in the morning, I'll come out here and I'll just slide it right off. Um, but it's really thick for tiny tendrils. Yes. And you can use the sm smaller string, smaller yarn, and you'll get the same thing if you need smaller ones. But like I said, sometimes you may have to tape that end down. But like I'll stand it up over here in my paintbrush holder. And I'll just leave it to dry, and it'll be ready tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Linda. I got it done today. Thank you. But um, I need some tendrils. I can't quit now. I'm almost done. Oh, you got your earrings today, Michelle? Yay! I'm glad you love them. These are the dotted ones I have on, the little dotted pumpkin ones. So I'm just making some tendrils for my pumpkins that I forgot. 
Yay, I'm still here, Tina. She's like, oh my gosh, she's still crafting. <laughs> this is long for me. Usually hour, hour and a half. But I had a lot to do. And I cut that off. Okay, so that's my, this is my wired paper stuff that I need more of. I gotta find some more. I guess I need to go back to that Walmart that I found it at. Okay, glue him on. And I'm gonna stage him up so pretty tomorrow and take pictures and let y'all see. It's gonna look so good. And then you're gonna wanna get all your fall stuff out and start, start fall decorating. See, there's this little tendril. Yes, I, you can make lots of these, lots of this at once, but that's going to give you quite a bit. But I used to have little rods <laughs> laid in my craft room like that in the fall because I would make wood pumpkins and I would sell them. And so I had to make lots of tendrils and those are going to be stiff and they're not going to fall. They're going to stay, you know, just like the wired ones and they hold up really good. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Thank you for watching. So I'm just making tendrils, y'all, before I go. Oh, I'm glad. Cinda, I'm so glad. Yeah, it's a great tip to do, and it's inexpensive, because you probably have you probably have Mod Podge, or you can do it with yarn, because it's going to just get stiff. Um, and it's, it's perfect for the tendrils. But these are cute, too. And this is instant. That's not instant, of course, but you have to wait for it to dry. But, you know, if you do it in the morning, it'd be dry by that afternoon, but I'll just let it dry overnight. And I need to put some on my, um, <laughs> Cheryl, don't apologize. I know some people are like, oh my gosh, she's still, she's still going. 49 cents for the pick at Hobby Lobby. Okay, what pick is it? I don't know. I missed that part. Uh, Lori, yeah, it's been a long time since I've been on this long. Oh, Christine, I hope you ate something good. Okay, so there's that tendril. So I'll probably come back in the morning and put some of my jute ones that I made, some of those on here, probably on this one, and make it super, super cute. But look at my little, my little family. I got a little family here. <laughs> but look how cute this is. And I hope y'all try this, because I know You've probably got some cutting boards, or you even have those Dollar Tree signs that look like cutting boards. Totally do this. It will look just, just, yeah, Elmer's glue will work too. So I just said yes. Oh, pipe cleaners, yes. So cute. But y'all wait till I get them staged on my, my shelves. And you'll be like, oh, oh, they look so cute. Look how cute. <laughs> cinnamon in your Mod Podge. I don't know if you can like mix up a whole little container of it. You might could and just slather it on. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jean. Thank you for being here. So cute. Look how cute. Love them. I cannot wait. If my husband wasn't asleep and didn't have to get up at four o'clock in the morning, then I would be in there taking it all down tonight and putting all this stuff up there. <laughs> Better not do that. <laughs> he might get upset. Look how cute they are. Oh, and, and I know lots of other crafters have done it, but I wanted them for myself. And if I had made them and y'all been like, why didn't you do it live? That's why. <laughs> so y'all can see. But just do like I did and kind of get a little crazy with your cinnamon and your paint and your tissue paper. How, pr okay. How pretty would one of these be? Now I want to do one. With, you remember I showed y'all the brown paper and we crumpled it all up and then I glued it down? Oh my goodness. How pretty would it be on like this? And then you brushed over orange or some copper over it? That would be so, so pretty. There's so many techniques you could do to each one and make them a little different. Um, yes, now you need some cutting boards, Marie. But, I mean, Hobby Lobby. It's two dollars, so go get you some at Hobby Lobby. And if you have an Aldi, go look there. They have those little ones too. Um, Target, Dollar Spot. That was a dollar. Do you need a? Do we need a baby? <laughs> just keep on going. 
Um, and then Dollar Tree has these. Um, Dollar Tree has these. So you could use that. So you could totally incorporate it. But they're so cute. And then Dollar Tree has those signs that are shaped like the uh, cutting boards. And you could totally do the same thing. Um, you're welcome, Kathy. Jingle. Yeah, you can stand them up with Jingle Blocks. I'm just going to lean mine against my wall on my shelf that's over my coffee bar. There's some there now, cutting boards. They're really big, and they're just the natural color. And so I'm going to take those down and put these guys up there and make me a little vignette. And this is actually an even number, so I need one more because <laughs> I like odd numbers. Three, five, one, three, or five. So, yeah, so, I don't know. I may have to set something in front and make a five. Rule of odds, yes. She just said rule of odds. Do one more. Exactly. So, I may do that or I may, um, I don't know what I'll do. I'll do something. I'll put something else with it and it'll be five things. Yes, Brenda, I want to see all y'all's in the group. If you're not part of the group, it's the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. It's in my link tree. If you go to my main page and go to the link tree, it's in there too. You can click it and it'll take you to the group. And it's just my little community. You can join. Um, right, Tasha? It's just so many ideas. I mean, you could we could crumple the brown paper and put it on here and then brush it that white. You know how I did the one with the Christmas tree on it? And brush it white and it would give it that funny look it would be so cool six dollar ones at walmart oh tina you're so sweet you saved it have a good day at work tomorrow as regina likes even numbers regina is odd because she likes even <laughs> i'm kidding regina i know these are so cool and they're so trendy and they're cute for your kitchen like you know because it's a cutting board And right now they're everywhere and you can get them very inexpensive um so look everywhere even if it's not a true cutting board i mean that's target dollar spot so you could do all that be cute on a little tiered tray would it not i like odd numbers too yes i do too oh thank you tammy tammy's got the group if you want to go join you can there it is, Dawn, right there. Just click that link, and it's going to take you to the to the group. And it's just where everybody puts their crafts and stuff and asks for help or whatever. And it's just, it's a great group of people and so talented. I mean, I'm just like every day, I, I say that all the time. Every day, I'm just like, whoa, look at that. And all the scarecrow, uh, jingle block scarecrows like that one, there's a whole ton of them right now. And fabric pumpkins and all that stuff. And you get inspiration from other people. And that's why sometimes on like Saturdays, I like to put, you know, show off Saturday because, and last week I did the scarecrow and everybody posted scarecrows and I was just like, oh, look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. I was so excited because um, everybody has a different spin on a scarecrow and their eyes and how their nose and their mouth is. And I like seeing all the ideas of, because everybody's mind kind of works different. Um, thank you, Tammy. <laughs> here you're okay peanut i eat peanuts and m&ms even <laughs> regina that's funny y'all look at my finger you see that mod podge like the old school glue that we used to have when we used to roll off you put it on and you'd roll it off your hands that's what my hands look like <laughs> i know i can't wait to see these in the group too oh it would you could totally put um like Dollar Tree has those little wood words and little sayings, or you could totally put little sayings on them. You know, put them off on your copy paper like I showed you and do the reverse transfer. We could do that too. Super, super cute. But um, the back of my hair, Wiletta, okay. I'll see the back of my hair. Oh, I just laid that down in the paint, the paint plate. Back of my hair, that's the back of my hair. Y'all never see the back. <laughs> Y'all never see the back, right? And you know, you remember that, that yellow paper, that real pretty paper from Hobby Lobby? I, want, I was going to get some the other day. It wasn't on sale. But they have a copper color. How pretty would that be on one of these boards? 
as a pumpkin. Oh, beautiful. And I wasn't going to pay $2 for that piece of paper. I was like, I'll come back when it's on sale. So it'll probably be on sale next week. <laughs> Regina. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, yeah, she does. She does a really good job on my color. I was there. I got there at 9, and I left it a little after 12. It takes a long time. Um, thank you, Regina. Oh, Tasha's going to do her some. She's going to have some tomorrow. Look, even if you just had two, I mean, two different sizes, they, it's still going to look cute. Even just one. I mean, I think I love it. So cute in your kitchen, it's adorable. Tie you a little baby fork on the front, like it's you know. But I gotta put it, I need a button for that one. I gotta get a black button. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Tasha. Yes, Barb, absolutely. You could get you a piece of cardboard and trace off one you have in your kitchen, or either do uh, Google an image of an outline of a cutting board and cut you some out of a foam board. Put you some paper and fix it all up just like, like these, and you'll never know that it's cardboard. Nobody will know. I mean, put it if you put it up on a shelf like I'm going to do, nobody's going to know. A good, yes, a good a piece with texture. Oh, how my hair is dark. Yeah, this is this right here never sees the light of day. Look how dark it is. It is so. Hang on. It's very dark. See. Very, very dark. But it never sees the light of day, <laughs> ever. So it's, uh, of course, that part doesn't get, it doesn't get highlighted. Look how dark that is. So. <laughs> oh, you're okay, Sandy. It was a long one, so be prepared. But I just took cutting boards from different places, the ones I've been kind of collecting and made. Made them like pumpkins, and I'm going to put them together on my shelf. Oh, Tennessee One, yes. Thank you, Carol. It's from Beware. Y'all use the code TTV15, and you'll get 15%. Um, you got some of that paper last week. The, is it the buffalo check, or are you talking about the brown paper? Is this, well, my hair would be darker than it is, um, but it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be this dark because this never sees the sun. I mean, ever. But my hair would naturally get lighter in the sun. But this, yeah, so this never gets colored, never anything because it's just under there. But it's dark. Look how dark that is. Isn't that weird? Oh, Arlene, you had, I had highlights and lowlights. That's what she does. I, this time she just did highlights because it was just my roots. Where did I get the, I can't see the rest of that. Thank you, Layla. All right, guys. Well, I'm not going to keep y'all any longer because I know this is long for me and y'all and y'all got to go to bed. Um, so I'm probably not going to see you. I don't know if it's Monday. I don't know. We'll see what Monday's going on and we'll do because I know it's a holiday. So we'll see. So thank y'all for hanging out. I know it was a long one. Um, I hardly ever do long ones, but it's almost 10 o'clock, y'all. <laughs> thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I thank y'all for being here and being on my page and making this what it is and hanging out while I craft. Because I would be doing this and y'all say, you should have done that live. Well, I did. Because <laughs> so, it's going to go in my home. Thank y'all so much. Night, y'all. Love y'all. Have a good Friday, a good weekend. Um, subscription boxes will be, it'll be opening Saturday. And, um, cause I changed it cause some people have to work. So I changed it to Saturday. Um, so if you're on the wait list, I'll send you an email tomorrow and y'all have a good weekend. Be safe, have fun, spend time with your family and enjoy your day off if you're off on Monday. Bye guys. See y'all later.